hey everyone welcome back on the channel again welcome back to another fsr 3.1.4 mod video uh, today we are taking a look at elden ring night rain now this video is going to be a bit different as it uh, includes two separate files two separate mods uh, but fear not i have uh, managed to make a single zip uh, first i'll get a little bit uh, overview of the mod why uh, is it this way uh, how does the mod work and everything so if you are not interested in that you can skip ahead to the direct installation part but uh, yeah let's start this video so the elden ring does not have any kind of upscaler like dlss or fsr so how does the mod work uh, this mod called nrss free release uh, on patreon i'll put the link in the description uh, uses an inject tool uh, which by which you can now input dlss 4 and 3.1 in the game so yeah we are going to use this mod along with that if you are on steam version uh, i'll leave this link also by which you can disable the anti-cheat and play the game also but yeah the other version or the pirated version does not need any kind of anti-cheat you can just play and use the mod and uh, play the game uh, along with that uh, there is two files of the mod which is uh, 0.81 and one is 0.7.1 so i have already uh, patched the 0.8.1 uh, in this uh, mod zip so you don't need to do anything but in case the game does not work i will uh, recommend you to use this 7.1.1 uh, zip this 7.1 zip by extracting it to desktop and renaming the dxgi to d 3d 12 and paste it in the same installation directory where we're gonna paste the mod but first uh, there are some things in game settings which you need to set in order to make the mod work or the frame generation will not work correctly so first things first you need to go to setting then graphics and from the advanced setting you need to make sure anti-aliasing is set on high quality uh, if it's low or medium or anything uh, the mod won't work so make sure anti-aliasing is set to high quality after that uh, again go to setting and then uh, display and then brightness setting make sure your brightness is set at 5 not 4 3 2 1 not anything just on 5 so if your brightness is not on 5 the mod will also not work the frame will not work correctly so yeah make a brightness at 5 and after that uh, quit the game and extract this zip Elden Ring Night Ring uh, FSR 3.1.4 copy everything inside the folder I'm gonna go to the installation directory Elden Ring Night Ring then game where nightrain.ex is located paste the mod here I'm telling again if you are using the steam version you can use the ESC disabler I'll link the link in the description uh, after that just set up the OptiScaler. OptiScaler now comes with a new installer uh, named setupwindows.bat. I have told it in the previous video. So double click on that. Same steps DXGI 1, then NVIDIA for 2 and AMD Intel for 1. So I'm pressing 2 here. Then press again to continue. Now one step is still remaining, which is uh, if you want to use the XCSS mod, you need to open the optiscaler.ini. Uh, but first we need to set up the opti fg so from the fg type select opti fg and after that you need to scroll down around 30 percent of the text file like this is the 100 percent and you need to scroll down around 30 percent or so where you will find this xcss covered by this two-third bracket uh, remember there are xcss on the other part of the text file also but you need to find this xcss in the third bracket then you will find this build pipelines building pipelines or build pipelines you need to delete this auto don't delete this space behind it just click on the auto and write f a l s e false if you want to use xcss this is the optional step i recommend using this because uh, fsr 3.1.4 is very shimmery so yeah use xcss uh, do this step then click on file and save close the text file now i'll dive back in the game again and i'll show you how you can enable the dlss or fsr or the frame generation 
grab cyberpunk ultimate edition with phantom liberty dlc updatable to the upcoming update 2.3 at just 149 rupees get the ultimate horror bundle at just 249 rupees and split fiction at just only 49 rupees all right i'm back in the game again make sure your brightness is set to 5 not 4 3 or 6 uh, and then press end key on the keyboard uh, your nrss menu will open up select dlss or fsr whichever you want or whichever you have fsr will also work dlss will also work but you need to set the quality mode to quality on fsr or on dlss whichever you use just use the quality mode from here after that press ins slash insert and opti menu will open up now here select fg active no need to select the hot fix because the hood is already fixed from here and then you're gonna go back to the game hide this by pressing end and insert again and now you will see fps has boosted to 110 yeah from 60 to 109 and 110 and yeah without recording i was getting locked 120 and now you can check the debug view again here here's the debug view like the right bottom one is uh, with the hood and the center bottom one is uh, without the hood and yeah you can change to xcss if you want if you have done the text file edit correctly you should be able to use the xcss also fsr 3.1.4 is also working here you can check i'll disable the debug view real quick the video ends here now if this mod helps you uh, consider subscribing to the channel as i work very hard for this video and yeah i keep bringing this mod videos for you so feel free to comment down below if you are facing any kind of issue and join discord for cheap games and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one